Johnson Fazer has been wanting me to host another video, and um, well, we're gonna do it. This time, we could probably make a tractor video tomorrow. We'll see. But at least for today, let's make the Echo SRM 230S review. And now the name 230S means it's a 20, it has 22.8 cubic centimeters of power and it is a um, straight um, all steel shaft drive going down to the motor head which is cast aluminum driving the um, load and go uh, head and uh, let's get into some of the features I mean it's got I think it's a 22.1 uh, ounce gas tank. It has a primer bulb, a choke, dual stage air filtration system for um, extra like clean, cleanliness. So, because two strokes, um, you don't want to get anything in them. This is two stroke, like I said. So you have to mix gas and gas and um, oil, 50 to one ratio. It has the over molded hand grips. It has the start and stop safety. This is also your safety, so you can't pull your throttle until you do that. This is so you can put on your uh, harness that comes with it. This is this model here is actually a not a weed whacker, but rather it is a brush cutter. So it has this handle right here, so you could do some brush cutting with it. That's what they said online. I mean, I still think it's a weed whacker, but whatever you could put a blade on the end of this and um, I mean it's kind of a simple review there's not much to say um, it works good this is you know the older gray style echoes and uh, it probably doesn't say a date or anything on it all I know is it's really old and it's from Seville's um we're gonna see it run in a minute. Um, it's very loud. So, and you also gotta wear your eye protection because it will shoot up, of course. And um, of course, it being a string trimmer, it uses these strings right here to cut the grass. And actually, it could go up to 0 0.95 thickness, all the way up to 0 0.155 thickness. So. It, this is professional. I don't know if you got that, but this is a professional weed whacker slash brush cutter. And um, it does a great job, honestly. I mean, nothing to complain about. I mean, solid steel drive shaft is something that you can only get on the S, on the 230S model instead of the 230. Um, it just delivers direct drive from the motor all the way down to the motor head which spins the head. This also is a single cylinder engine with a small um, spark plug. Of course, the kill switch, you know, throttle, primer bulb, choke, I think I already went over that. Pull start, this is super easy to start. Here, I'll even show you how easy this is. I'm not gonna turn, turn it on, I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to pull. I mean, it, it's basically nothing. Uh, here, I guess let's put the starter. Runs good. It's your natural two-stroke, so when you use a two-stroke, you never have to do oil changes. You just have to make sure that the gas is properly pre-mixed. And I recommend true fuel, 50 to 1 ratio, non-ethanol, 92 octane, fully synthetic gas and oil mix. And it has the double air filtration system. It does have a choke and throttle. I mean, throttle's down there, but the choke, it's either on or it's off, and there's a middle position to it, too. Actually, now that I think about it, you could really set it to anywhere you want in order to get that amount of choke. Um, it has a nice, easy to open gas cap. I'm not going to open that because I don't want to spill any and kill my grass. Um, has a nice muffler of course this has the uh i don't know why i'm having so many brain farts right now but 
called the Spark Arrestor. And this machine right here is actually not made by Echo. This is actually made by the Kioritz company. So this was made for Echo. Of course, this is a Japanese motor and a Japanese machine. And uh, it works very well. I mean, what do you say we start it up and uh, go whip some weeds a little bit? I sure want to. So let's just start it. job on cutting all the weeds. Um, of course the uh, Cub Cadet 2544 will come by tomorrow and mulch all this up. Um, so let's look at a, the work we did. I mean it's a weed whacker. It could, I could have gotten spots a little bit better. Once I mow tomorrow I'm gonna come by with this again and clean up all the spots that you know doesn't look good. Unfortunately I can't get to one area by the house where we have some stuff obstructing our view there. But um, otherwise, I think it did a very good job. Um, actually, another thing we did over here is when I was weed whacking, we have some really tall plants in this supposed sandbox. I got to throw out all this crap. Um, so I decided I was going to take it by. And uh, you know what? Instead of just showing you, let's watch it do it.
trees starting to grow in. Of course, from the uh, from the pine trees here. And the final thoughts on this machine is um, Echo really makes a great product. This, I mean, this isn't, although it's not an Echo machine, it's made by somebody else for Echo, it still has the Echo motor on it, which is made in Japan. And um, this is just a really great quality product. And, uh, you know, made in Japan and America, I mean, that's really the best thing you can get. Um, I mean, I have nothing else to say. I, I am, like, I don't know how to say it. I'm at a loss for words about how good this machine is. Unfortunately, a weed whacker is kind of a plainish thing to do because it doesn't have a ton of features. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... Thank you guys for watching. There will be some new videos coming up of like the Cub Cadet uh, doing some attachments behind it. You know, just just some like spring cleanup kind of things. It'll be good for you guys to watch. And uh, maybe we can do, let me know in the comments below. Maybe we could do a tool review or something. Something kind of different. And, um, I think you guys would like it. I mean. Just, just let me know in the comments and uh, thank you guys for watching please like the video and subscribe um but uh thank you for the support on the cub cadet video that was very good and uh i'll see you guys later bye